Look, I'm getting tired of you guys telling me that I make cards skyrocket in price. So stop buying these cards if you don't want them before they skyrocket in price. Huh. I kind of see the predicament here. You know, I think I might have that Goku effect going on. I'm the hero of my own story that might be caused by... Nah, you're not gonna get me to say that. What's going on with you guys? The Cali Effect King of Games here. And today, we're gonna be giving you guys a video that you either really, really love or really, really hate. That's right, guys. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about cards that you should buy before they skyrocket in price. But to address the elephant in the room, do I make cards skyrocket in price? Now, I definitely think that is a discussion for an entirely different video. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to hit that like button and let me know down below in the comment section. But I will concede this. I will admit that I'm Goku if you admit that I have superpowers. There is one thing that I do know about these cards is that they seem to ascend Super Saiyan. If you were to ask me, they probably are going to ascend beyond ascended Super Saiyan and they're a card you should be looking to pick up. Mega 10 2021 is set to reprint everything from Ignition Assault all the way into Phantom Rage, leaving us with the side sets like Genesis Impact and then the main sets like Blazing Vortex and the new set in Lightning Overdrive. The good thing is that that set actually has some gyps. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about quite a few gems inside of these sets that you should be looking at and of course if you want to see more content like this then be sure to destroy that subscribe button but also go ahead and hit that notification bell because we ko ko kid i mean i'm really like beyond that but it just felt cool to say i don't know i think super sam blue looks better on me i mean like you know sure you would think right also, just a heads up, if you guys are buying on TCG Player, be sure to use my TCG Player link in the description. It really helps me out, and since I'm giving you this great information, you would think you help your boy out. And without further ado, let's jump on in. So normally in these videos, I highlight five cards that you guys probably should be looking at. In this video, I'm going to be highlighting one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna be highlighting eight cards. So I apologize that I'm not gonna be taking my sweet old Master Roshi time. But the first card I wanna to talk to you guys about is Amazement Administrator Arlequino. Now, ironically, the Amazement archetype was originally in my budget series. Amazement Arlequino was a $15 Yu-Gi-Oh card, meaning that you could have built the entire deck upon Lightning Overdrive's release on a budget of less than $150. And boy, times have changed. Our park Administrator is a $25 Yu-Gi-Oh card. That is a pretty big ticket administration, if I may say, if you want to be able to get this card. Get it? Because ticket, you get it. Now, will our Lake, you know, go up even higher? I think there's definitely a lot of potential. This card shot up $10 without seeing massive top tables. And also, if you read this card, it's, um... It's busted. It's a generic Altergeist multi-faker that can destroy cards and equip trap cards from your deck to your opponent's monsters. Did I forget to mention that one of the cards is a Book of Moon? That's right guys, Amaze Attraction Horror House was once a $3 card and now is a $6 Yu-Gi-Oh card from the Lightning Overdrive set. And this is the Book of Moon card that I was speaking of that our park administrator can administrate. The reason why I think this card is just so good is because it's a Book of Moon or it's an infinite impermanence. How can you hate a card like that? It's also searchable through the effect of Arcalino and also being able to place itself to the side of the field through Comica. Another card that I feel that should be bought before it skyrockets in price. Now we did open a case of Lightning Overdrive and unfortunately I only got three Comica. Three Comica. I'm not saying that that happens for every single Yu-Gi-Oh case. You could get four, you could get five, but when you think about it, spending over $600 to get three Comica and it only being a $2 card, Slippery slope here, guys. Basically, what I'm saying at this portion of the video is that these cards are pure amazement. Because I have to explain it. See, I see you going super sad over there, guys. Either you're mad or you love it. Contrary to what I originally said about these cards, this deck actually has tons of potential and post forbidden list is a strategy we know will not get hit. There's also amazing time ticket. I didn't mention that card because I think it's good, but the other cards are better. 
Now, depending on how you look at it, we just blew through four cards from the Lightning Overdrive set. So let's move over to Blazing Vortex because there's actually some pretty decent cards. Cards like Spriggan Ship Explorer go completely under the radar when mentioning Blazing Vortex, mainly because the only card that was on player's mind was Prada Prosperity, but this card's really good. Spriggan's Explorer actually allows you to destroy cards in the same column as the activation effect of this rank eight monster. It's ironically one of the best rank eights that we have in the current Yu-Gi-Oh card game. But wait, there's more. Riggins is an archetype that is often overlooked, but if Konami does decide to do a ban list rehaul, this might be one of the top strategies in Yu-Gi-Oh. Spriggins, like Amazement, definitely has all the resources there to be a top contending Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I think it's only a matter of time and support before this strategy is considered seriously. Now, between me telling my viewers on Twitch that this card is something that they should look into, and now Spriggins X Blower has shot out from a $1 card to a $2 card. Now, that might not seem like much, but if you look on TCG, players, there's not a lot of sailors with multiple copies of this card. Spriggan's Explorer is one of the more important cards for this Spriggan strategy, and it's actually a very viable rank 8. Why do you not have at least a copy of this card? Bouncing away from the Lightning Overdrive set, a card that I was extremely upset to pull, but then realize this card is really good, is Rudy Rose Dragon. Rudy Rose Dragon is poised to make itself the best Synchro 10 in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. It allows you to banish all cards in the graveyard. Did I just stop right there? Banish all cards in the graveyards. Rudy Rose can also destroy all of the cards on the field if you just so happen to use a plant synchro monster or black rose dragon as material. And then if your opponent would activate a card effect to destroy cards on your side of the field, you can tribute Rudy Rose and then special summon a black rose dragon from your graveyard or extra deck. Rudy Rose Dragon is a generic synchro monster with a 3200 body and a pretty good effect. It currently sits at $10 and I really wish I didn't get rid of some of them because boy, they look good. This card literally spirit bombs the field. It gathers the energy from the graveyard by banishing them and then it destroys all cards on the field. How can you hate this card? How can you hate this card? A card that has not seen as much play as expected, but when I had my claim sell on Twitch sold out quite a bit is Goth Mommy. Wait, you guys don't know what Goth Mommy is, do you? Well, she's the mommy of Goths. I forgot her name. I really just call her Goth Mommy. Underworld Goddess of the Closed World is a very viable Link 5 monster that allows you to Link Summon using your opponent's monsters. You can get rid of any single one of your opponent's cards through a Link mechanic. That's busted. This card not only does that, but it negates all monsters on your opponent's side of the field, is unaffected by any card that doesn't target it in, you know, a format where people don't like targeting cards, and can negate special summons from the graveyard. Is Goth Mommy not a good Yu-Gi-Oh card or something? Goth Mommy is only at $18 per copy, and I think with players starting to play more cards like Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, Goth Mommy becomes a lot better. Coming back to Lightning Overdrive, ZS Ascended Sage is a Yu-Gi-Oh card that can special summon itself to the side of the field for free. It also can search a normal rank up spell if you exceed summon into a Utopia monster like Utopia Double, which can go for game. Forget that this card's main focus is for a Utopia deck. It's generic. And it searches rank up cards. Ascended Sage is currently an $8 Yu-Gi-Oh card and it's actually for a just reason. That is another card that I only pulled three copies of in my case. I'm Watching you, Konami, you, you you doing this to the good cards. What is this? Like, I don't, it goes this and then this, okay? This and then this. Now, I know that that was a lot to take in, but I do have one last card to talk about. Arm Dragon Flash from the Blazing Vortex set is pretty good. It can special summon an Arm Dragon monster to your side of the field. Now, we don't necessarily care that it can special summon Arm Dragon to your side of the field. We care that it special summons a dragon to your side of the field. I think in the future that can be really useful information. Let's take for example, God forbid Quick Launch does get banned. Well, this card is a weaker Quick Launch, but it actually could serve the same purpose. Currently, Arm Dragon Flash is about $7 a copy. If you are a Dragon player, this is a card that you should just have. You never know what's gonna happen to Dragon Link. I don't think anything would happen, but Konami could be fairly unpredictable. Well, that is all that we have for today's video. Let's see if all of these cards will be blotted out. I don't know too many people with that deep pockets. Of course, if you wanna see a video about do I make cards skyrocket in price, then hit that like button and let me know down below in the comment section, as well as check out these awesome videos as I'll catch you on the next one.